Hello, this is part two of our series on creating photo books. I'm going to start with a book project I created in part one. As a reminder, I used autofill to start the book and made a few edits to it. I go to my projects page and open the book project. First, let's look at photo edit options. I go to a spread and select a photo. Its toolbar becomes visible. I can rotate the photo, move it on the page and across the spread, resize and crop it, zoom, and move it to the front or back if I have overlapping objects or photos. I can also swap it with another photo on the spread, like so. I can make the photo the background of the page or spread, so it covers the entire page or spread. I can also add borders to the photo. To do so, I go to the Borders tool on the left toolbar and select a border color and thickness. Of course, I can also remove the photo from the page. When I do that, its empty frame remains on the page. Click Delete again to remove the frame. When I remove a photo from a book page, it still remains in the photo well, as I may want to use it later. If the photo is not used in the book at all, it is unchecked in the well. This is useful especially when working on a large book project. I can also delete the photo from the project by clicking on the X in the photo thumbnail in the well. This removes the photo from the book project, but it still remains in my album and account. At the start of this project, I used Autofill to fill the book with the selected photos. Autofill created a random layout for each page. One alternative to Autofill is to use one of our many static layouts. This may be helpful when I have a specific layout in mind with a set number of photos. I can always override the fixed layout and make adjustments to it. I started this project with a simple studio design where all pages have a white background. But we have many backgrounds I can use. Our backgrounds come in sets. There are several options on how to use them. Apply a single background to a single page or to the entire book. Then all pages will have the same background. Or apply a background set to the entire book. In this case, each background in the set is applied to a page and the set repeats once all are used. We also have many designs I can apply to my book. Similar to backgrounds, designs come in sets. I can apply a design to a single page or to the entire book. A design is a combination of backgrounds and photo layouts. Designs may also include text and embellishments. Beware that if I change the design in my book, the existing layouts including autofill and the manual layouts will all change, so it's best to decide on a design early on. That's all for now. I will cover more of our photo books in the next video in this series. Thanks for watching.